In this video, I'm going to show you an impressive new AI tool by Creative Fabrica. I'll demonstrate how to use this tool effectively to create impressive images, as well as how to then upscale those images so you can use them in your t-shirt designs. So if you click the link at the top of the description, it will bring you to this page right here. And this is CF Spark, Creative Fabrica's new artificial intelligence image generator. And the cool thing about this is that you can use it and try it out totally for free. You don't even need a Creative Fabrica subscription or a CF Spark subscription. Now there's some differences between the two and I'll go into that later on in the video. But basically click the link, create an account on Creative Fabrica. You don't even need to sign up to any trials or whatever. And then you can use this generator and play around with it. So the way that most people use these AI generators is they just type in something generic like, um, I don't know, dog riding a unicorn. And then if you hit ignite, it will take a little while to generate those images. But if you keep it so generic, usually the result is, well, sort of amateurish, uh, as you can see, and not really usable in terms of print or demand products. So most of these do look very weird and the sort of design style is once again, not very suitable for t-shirts, posters or anything like that. So the way or the, the trick to get a better style in this case is to first of all, head over to Spark in the menu, then click browse creations. What that's going to bring up is a library of the most popular artificial intelligence images on Creative Fabrica. So if we scroll through these, you can always see um, what people have put into the search mask to get these results. And that's really handy because you can just uh, scroll through these and find a style that you really like, and then basically take that style and use it in your own image. So let's say, for example, um, you really like the design style of this owl. So you could just take the text, there's a copy button right here. So copy the prompt, then head back to Spark, create designs, paste that prompt into your search mask. And then um, you just have to find where it says owl and uh, replace that because maybe you want to make a dog design. So whimsical detailed fantasy dog sitting on bed of thorns, flowers, etc. So the rest of this just has to do with the environment and the style. And so what you now could do as well is change the ratio to two by three, because that's sort of more t-shirt friendly or, or print on demand friendly in terms of its format. And then we'll hit ignite again. So as we can see right here, the results for this generation look way, way better. The style looks really professional and it could actually work really well as a poster maybe. Um, let's see what the other ones look like. This one is a bit more old fashioned. Are these any good? That looks quite cool. And here I think the style once again is really, really great. And so this is obviously um, a quick way to get way nicer results with this artificial intelligence generator. And if you want to then uh, use any of these images, like I think this is the nicest looking one, all you have to do is hit publish. And then once that's done, you can click open and then just hit download over here. Now, if you don't have a Creative Fabric subscription, you won't be able to download it. You have two options basically. With CF Spark, if you have a CF Spark subscription, you can download any of your own images that you've created and you can also hide them from the Creative Fabric marketplace because anyone else could download them too. Um, so another perk that CF Spark gives you is you get a thousand speed credits, meaning that you always get put to the front of the queue when it comes to generating images, because it does take a lot of computing power and it can sometimes take like a minute to get your stuff created. So that's it in terms of CF Spark. If you have a Creative Fabrica subscription, then you can download your own images as well as other people's AI images but you don't get any speed credits and you can't hide your own generations from Creative Fabrica. So in this case, I've downloaded our dog creation and I'm now going to jump into Illustrator 
to make sure that this is a high enough quality to be used on print on demand products. So now that we're inside of Illustrator, I've opened up a document right here in the typical Merch for Amazon dimensions, uh, 4,500 by 5,400. And I'm just going to drop our image into here. Now, as you can see, this opens quite small because the file size is pretty small on these images. If we scale this up, uh, make it a bit bigger, and zoom in, you can see that it is very pixelated and it wouldn't really print that well. Um, and the way to fix this and to make this sort of uh, scalable in terms of its quality is to select the image and then head to image trace over here. Then you want to click onto the image trace panel. And if I draw this over, um, if you then change the preset from default to high fidelity photo, then it's going to load a little while and turn our JPEG basically into a vector, which is really nice because now it has lost that sort of grainy pixel texture and it's actually going to print more smoothly. So this sort of design is obviously more ideal for a poster sort of format or poster product. Um, you could maybe make it work as a sticker, um, but if you wanted to have this bit more optimized as a t-shirt design, a quick little tip here. Well, first of all, you want to click onto the image and hit expand. So this turns into um, um, a collection of paths and objects. But what you can do to make this more suitable for a t-shirt, so you can maybe add some text to it as well, is um, add a shape, let's say um, an ellipse. So you use the ellipse tool by pressing L on your keyboard and then draw this out or holding down Alt and Shift to create a perfect circle. I'm going to then move this circle so it covers sort of the face of the dog. And then if you select everything, head over to transparency and if you don't see the transparency panel then just head over to window and tick transparency down here but once you've located it just click make mask and what that will do is it will cut out the circle from our dog and you could now move this around on your app board and maybe arch some text along the top and the bottom and create a more suitable sort of t-shirt design for uh, in that case. So definitely some options right here to use these AI images. And um, whilst they might be more suitable for uh, posters, stickers, that sort of stuff, you can still utilize them in your t-shirt designs. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have fun playing around with CEF Spark. And make sure to watch this video next if you want to find out why 99% of people fail at print on demand.